Today we're going to take a look at some rendering options with PhotoView 360. Specifically, we're going to take a look at how to change the background image and utilize that with a rendering in PhotoView 360. So first things first, we're going to um, click to turn on our PhotoView 360 add-in, which is part of SolidWorks Professional. And this turns on a whole bunch of render tools inside of the software. What we're going to do first is we're going to uh, take a look at some of the scenery and the background. So you'll see that you have a tab here on uh, SolidWorks for your display manager. And you can change the colors, you can change the decals, and you can change the scenery as well. Um, one thing that's really cool is you can change the background image very quickly just by right-clicking and saying Edit Scene. Now alternately there is also a whole bunch of scenes over on the right hand side in the design library uh, under appearances, scenes, and decals that you can just click on if you want to use them. But you could also choose an image file for the background. In this case you'll see our image file uh, is uh, what we want for a background here and we're going to actually browse to a uh, image that we want to use. The software itself comes installed with a whole bunch of different background images already included in the software, so you can choose different landscapes uh, that you want to work with. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ones in here, but we want to actually go and pick one that we uh, created ourselves. So we'll just go grab a, uh, a JPEG that we have ourselves. So we'll put this little farm background um, onto this image here. And then what we'll do is we'll just kind of uh, move our, uh, our file into place where we want it to be. So that looks pretty good there. And then what you can also do is uh, you can um, choose how that's going to uh, affect with floor shadows and things like that. So when you have uh, your options here in the uh, render, you could actually adjust how it has shadows and how those project onto the screen. You'll also see you get some different options if you want to uh, adjust that image file and uh, have it move or rotate and things like that, um, as well as adjust some lighting and information on the lighting there. But basically we have all of the scene information that we would like here, and then what we can just do is hit the render button to get our uh, render. So what this is going to do is it's then going to go through and it's going to render uh, this information to an actual finished file. You'll see it'll do the rendering there. And then I've got that background integrated right into my final render. So that looks great. Um, so that's kind of how you can set up a background image and utilize a background image with rendering in PhotoView 360. Thanks for watching.